Hello everyone, Bleach Roamer here and welcome to Toho 1310 Desires. It's been a long time since I've actually opened a Toho game due to the fact I was waiting for Toho 14 to come out. Literally I know 14.3 would come out by the time way after I would actually start this. So either way, joining me it is as usual from you know from the past OPs for as she was known as Yomu Nora. Yo. <laughs> and joining me now for his first time in my Toho piece is Diz and Kyoji. Greetings, folks. I am DD Diz93. I have been in uh, Bleach's LPs previously, but never a Toho one. I am an avid Toho fan, so I couldn't say no to his offer to join this time. <laughs> and you're going to definitely be there. Sorry for a total question, but I'm going to say, and this is definitely going to be there when I get to the PC-98, which will actually be starting once the patch is announced and released. Which is in the works. They are working on the final touches for that, but anyways, that's not important right now. This is 10 Desires. This is what you came to watch. So, anyway, Kyochi, give off your introduction now. Right. Yep. I'm Kyochi the Black Ace. I am part of Bleach's project let's play which is the final fantasy 9 voice actor i'm one of his voice actors blah 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 blah, blah. um i know to to toast and other toast toho and toast and we have host yep and we also have two note guests so if you to introduce yourselves one at a time please hi i'm love man okay but seriously uh i've never been on an LP before, really, so yeah, this is my first time. I do love Toho, so yeah. All of us here do. That's and you're off to now. a good start. And the Hi. other one... This is Chaos. I have never... I, too, have never been part of a Let's Play, so this one will be the first one, and I'm very excited to be a part of it. Woo! Yes. Before we before we begin, I'll get a, give a bit of backstory on the concept of this game and what Zune was generally going for. I will make it quick. Okay, so, gameplay-wise, Zune claims this to be somewhat between Perfect Cherry Blossom and Undefined Fantastic Object, but he wanted to give this game a bit of a different style from the previous entries in this series. He also states that the dialogue will also have a little bit of a uh, special tuning to it in this game. Not only that, but this is a game that was designed and catered for new players and newcomers to the series. So, if anything, if you're looking to get into the Toho series, this game is a, a good bet because Zune designed it for new players to be easy, to be playable, Whereas Undefined Fantastic Object and Subterranean Animism were the two most infamous Toho hard. games for being hard. Regardless, this game will be a pile of fun, and it's also a game where Zune's trying out a different style of composing, as you hear with the title here. Yeah, and I just realized on that sound, <laughs> you guys are going to laugh, and folks I, that are going to be watching this video, I know are going to laugh in the comments. I forgot to go on to not disturb for Skype. It's been a while since I've done this. <laughs> so, I've turned for a moment, people. But while I'm gonna go switch to not disturb, this should not disrupt the recording. I'll be cutting the uh, switching to not disturb out in the editing. So hold on. Sorry about that. It looks like the game crashed when I actually closed out. But we're back and. Give me a quick overview of the options like I always do. Unfortunately, really, unlike some of the past ones, one but similar to the Toho races I did, I have not unlocked extra yet. Practice start is simply to, of course, practice the difficulties. Unlike the other ones, we just need to get to the stage once, from what I know, to practice it. Like. For yeah. Rainbow, I've only gotten to stage 2 on normal, mainly because I've started with her on easy. Yeah. And as you pretty sure for Toho, there's easy, normal, hard, and lunatic. By the way, this is the first game since Imperishable Knight to have spell card practice. Yes, mm -hmm. that too. The return of spell card practice in which you can practice the spell cards on the difficulties you face them on. Ironically enough, in 
Imperishable Night is one of the old style Toho games that is good for newcomers as well for being easy, so this is a good game to get practice in. Mm -hmm. It's also the best Toho game. And subjective, subjective, subjectively, yeah, no. subjectively, it's based on people's opinions. It's one of my favorites, personally, but it do it doesn't make it everybody's favorite. Yeah, it's a good I game, though. I, I, still I still enjoy. I still enjoy. We are the Borg. You will be assimilated. I still enjoy. Yeah, so the Byron of Scarlet Devil because it was the first one I started with, and I know which one is Nora's favorite. Mm. Did you do? Isn't it? No. Yes, this is your move. Perfect cherry blossom. <laughs> awesome. Yep. Anyways, uh, yep. to go over the rest of the options real fast, most of it is quite similar to the previous Toho titles, so you can't expect too Except much different Except for, here. I don't think, Quit Here Dear was new, remember, but that just yep. shows the information for each character, like the scores and such. Yeah, you can you can you can get you can get the score data in previous games, but the manual is a reoccurring thing there. Yep, it this gives is... you a basic rundown of the game and its mechanics. Yep, this is pretty much new to it starting with this game. So I if you like wanted to, idea. so yeah, if you want to, if you're new and you want to learn, you can just go to the manual and you'll learn the basics. No, if you're too lazy, if, if you're if you're too lazy to learn Japanese and read the actual games manual, <laughs> I think that the manual, in the game. The manual is in the game in double spoiler even. Yeah. Yep. It is. Oh, this is it, weird it, it's because me. it's because yeah, it's yep. because that game works very differently. But in regards to this, yep, this is... I think we can begin. Yep. Mm -hmm. Anyway. I will be playing as actually Honey because she's the only one I can actually no. make it to the final boss on normal. I am pretty much going to honestly say it, feel out of practice as Rainbow in this game and Marissa's too fast for me. And sorry, Nora. <laughs> I was going to get to that and Yo apologize saying I suck as her. No. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, here we go. Uh, Right. Here we go! Lots of fun. Hmm, does this place look familiar? No. It does. Here, here, I will no. read the opening here to this stage. After Bleach kills this fairy, the night cherry blossoms in the netherworld. What are these divine spirits that are scattered and swept away by cherry blossoms? I they only activate to... moments before death. I'm, I'm doing a little uh, intro to the stage. Yeah, so. the intro... We'll be okay. Hey, but we're not. Dog reading. Yeah. That was a little risky, but I made it out fine. Yeah. yeah. That. Okay. Oh, no. uh, do you mind? Do you mind giving a rundown yeah, of what these? Oh yeah. Uh, the, the what? Do you mind giving a rundown of what these new items you see in this game yeah, are? These are pretty much like sort of spirit points, which will go towards your meter down there by the skull for trance. No, not the trance from Final Fantasy IX. It's a little different. This is trance mode. Basic basically, yep. basically, trance mode is a little frame of time where you're invincible and you can just wail away on everything. Basically, this kind of... Sh this is an enhanced shot type and... Uh, mm -hmm. Improve, improve sh shot type ability and small invincibility that was seen in uh, the third Toho game, Phantasmagoria of Din Dream, where if you were out of bombs, you could activate a special uh, shot type and it would run your gauge completely down. It works like this, and it'll activate upon death or if you press C by default on the keyboard. Anyway, hello, Yuko. Familiar face. I wonder why she's in stage one, boss. Yep, you, need you, to manually, you need to have all the, the transmitter full. You got to yep. mention that. Too. Yep, yeah, you, have, you have to have at least, uh, I believe, two to activate it. And it will uh, automatically uh, activate if you die anyway, regardless of how, how full your meter is. Yep, so, controls uh, are overall this. It is, it, it is, it is a uh, oh, very useful frick. fallback. Oh. Oh, 
You know, yeah. it is, it is, uh, it is Yuyuko after all. She's only toying with us. You saw how powerful she was in Perfect Cherry Blossom. Yuyuko yeah. is only playing around with you. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, sorry it's about that reset. Not even drop. I yes. everyone, especially recordings, don't like dying on stage one. Yeah, Aww. so uh, that that makes sense. If you're gonna if you're gonna make stupid deaths on the first stage, then you might as well restart. Yep. But generally, later on, you can salvage a run even if you die on something incredibly stupid. Yeah. <laughs> and plus, Ble and plus, Bleach might continue because he's not interested in getting the uh, ending shown because, because it's against soon stop copyright yep. once again. Yep. And of course, controls oh. per usual are the same for every game. Arrow keys to move, Z to shoot, Shift to focus, X to bomb. Though the C keys used for trance. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. And uh, the uh, blue spirits up there that you will collect are uh, mainly catered around score and points they rather the value than fit your gate. Yep, they increase the value of point items, so it's like a little multiplier thingy. And uh, the gray ones that appear are more to filling your gauge, and regardless of their size, they will always give you... Ah. Ouch. Being reckless, buddy. You did a dog. Regardless of their size, they will give you the same amount. The size just determines how much time you have left before they disappear off the screen. Yeah, so uh, if, you, if you're a, if how you're, you use it. Yeah, if you are a new player, that can be generally discouraging to see a small little spirit there. And it tricked me the first time too. When I thought it was smaller, I thought it would give me less, but it doesn't. And you also have two other types of spirits. You will see purple and green, and which basically work. Yep, they basically gives work like purple the, gives lives. They basically work like the the uh, part system you had in uh, Undefined Fantastic Object, uh. where you would collect UFOs and they would give you certain points. Like the red one would give you lives, the green one would give you bombs, the blue one would give you score, and the mixed one would give you a mix of a uh, score multiplier and everything. But in this game, it's just spirits, and you collect them. And they aren't affected by point of collect either, so you act actively have to grab them by getting near them in a classic yeah. shoot 'em up formula. You have to get them all up. Yep, as yep. opposed to the point items and power items, which you can point and collect quite easily. Also, now, enemies will drop them when they die, and bosses will slowly make them appear as they get damaged. Uh, ah. You did a horrible <laughs> at this game! <laughs> okay, okay, I'm starting to feel I'm out of... No, I'm just th thinking I'm out of practice, because... The only one I really played during lately was 14.3. Well, there's that, and also, uh, those bullets here in the first stage kind of look like the point items and the power items. Okay, uh, Bleach, I do have a tip for the stage one. Generally, you will. No, not just the. Well, he's already trying that, but you can generally. <laughs> or getting uh, power-ups and uh, spirits in this stage since they don't give you that many, you will really have to worry about gathering what the mid-boss gives you, and you might want to stay worry below. Don't point of collect. In this game, point of collect, don't worry about doing it. It's, it's risk versus reward, mainly, so uh, you can stay towards the bottom of the screen and stop being reckless in that regard. But yes, oh god. generally this Oh god, game, lag! Oh, fraps. Mm, that that delicious lag. fraps. Mmm, delicious lag. Yeah. yeah. But, um, I would have been so pissed if that kills me. I, can I say one thing? What? Yes. I actually think that this is the most handsome Toho game, and Toho 14 actually shocked me a bit, because, especially at the beginning of the game, there are all these, like, wild colors and everything. I think uh, this so game was made... Yeah. 
Yeah, this game is actually really, really beautiful, and if there's one reason to get this game, it's the charming backgrounds and graphics Zoom put into it. Zoom's art's getting better, by the way. Yeah, it's fairly clear. The lines are smoother. You know, it just kind of all flows together at this point. Oh, it's and the backgrounds still terrible. Are old. No, it's but not. <laughs> you sure it's... calling it? <laughs> yeah, but... but that's not my job. Yeah, well, anyways, the thing with the uh, later games is uh, he does kind of recycle some old backgrounds and things. These ones feature completely new settings, and I think Zune did a really good job aesthetically with this game here. I mean, just look at those butterflies. <laughs> they look a little bit different the than the butterflies, butterflies. Like... the butterflies, Whee! Oh, oh God. All those butterflies. Oh, is your samurai? Yeah, got past the first spell card. Yep, you got it, Bleach. That lag kind of saved me a bit, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> right, frame rates. I wonder why you're lagging so much. Maybe because you have a lot of stuff open. Team viewer, you're Turn recording. Off, Skype. Skype, great call. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go to what task manager. Do? Oh shit, that was like an explosion. Yes, yeah. yeah. My. Whoop. This, this, but, this boss is active. Uh, what are you singing, Nora? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what but she's doing. Anyways, anyways uh, this boss is actually quite challenging for a first stage boss, especially on Lunatic. She uh, has a bit of her uh, vibes from per Perfect Cherry <laughs> Blossom coming back to her, even as a stage one boss on Lunatic and Oh yeah, above. the longer uh, the spell card goes on, the more intense it gets, and where it gets like super... Like, dense. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. And there's, there's also the fact that the mid-boss doesn't have any spell cards or any, um, I want to say special bullets, it just kind of shoots a few bullets at you. It's a nameless character, and uh, nameless characters have. Yeah, nameless characters like that haven't appeared in Toho for the longest time since PC98. Yeah, but. Uh, Anyways. Except for Yuko, you, 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 as for you, Yuko, she has pointed us in a different direction. We came to the Netherworld thinking that she was the culprit behind these spirits, but now I think we go to the stage. They can read Yuko. the dialogue. Yeah. The Road to the Mjorn Temple. Heading towards the Muorn Temple Cemetery under the strange guidance of that ghost. Might the ones there be related to the divine spirits? Who knows? Go Maybe. ahead. But yeah. But also, pulls at you. also as a reminder for everyone, if for all the games, those was for the stage six or extra boss for any of the games from this one and past this one. But of course. At 